Ellen Cuff, Countess of Dysart. Ellen Odette Cuff, Countess of Dysart, Need by Skafsheim. 1 September 1857, 29 June 1933, was a London-born Jewish woman who was best known as an Irish politician, company director, Gaelicist president of the Gaelic League for a time, and philanthropist in Ireland. She has been called the most important Jewish woman in Irish history. Family. She was the daughter of Henry Louis Beiskofsheim, a wealthy Jewish banker of German origin. He was responsible for founding three of the largest banks in the world, the Deutsche Bank, Paribas Bank, and Societe Generale. Her younger sister, Amelie Beiskofsheim, was married to Sir Maurice Fitzgerald, 20th Knight of Kerry. She married William Cuff, 1845-1898 the 4th Earl of Dysart, on 29 April 1881 at Christ Church in Down Street, Mayfair. Life in Ireland. Interest in Gaelic Revival. After the death of her husband, Lady Dysart left the house in Cuffus Grange and moved to her home in out even a transcription of 8 Aibhin, the Irish for beautiful place on the outskirts of Kilkenny City. She was interested in the Gaelic revival of the time and became a member of the Gaelic League and was elected its president, succeeding her brother-in-law, Captain Otway Cuff, who was mayor of Kilkenny. She commissioned the village of Talbot's Inch to be built by the architect William Alphonsus Scott. Along with several other projects she and Captain Cuff developed together. These included Kilkenny Library, out even hospital, the woolen mills, Kilkenny woodworkers, Kilkenny theatre, the tobacco growers association, Dysart Hall, and Talbot's inch suspension bridge. In relation to her support of the Irish language, Lady Dysart reminded the people that her own people, the Jews, had in their new Palestine colony revived a forgotten language and used it to reunite the scattered remnants of their nation. On 3 November 1910, Lady Dysart formally opened the Carnegie Library for the very first time with a silver key supplied by P.T. Murphy, jeweler, High St. Kilkenny, Irish Free State Politics. She was appointed to the Irish Free State Sened Irene as an independent member in December 1922 by the President of the Executive Council. She was one of four women elected or appointed to the first CNED in 1922. She was the first Jew to serve as a senator in Ireland. She was appointed for 12 years in 1922 and served until her death in 1933. Dysart's rise to the role of one of the first women ever to serve in a political role in Ireland is somewhat ironic given that she had previously actually opposed women's suffrage. It was noted in her 1933 obituary that she had played an energetic part in opposing women having a place in politics, and believed that women should not compete against men at work or play. Lady Dysart, as president of the Women's Committee from 1908 to 1933, was directly involved in the rescue of approximately 300,000 women and children. She is buried along with her Anglo-Irish husband William Cuff from Dysart Cuff's Grange, County Kilkenny in Falmouth, Cornwall. The tombstone reads they were together in their lives, and in their deaths they shall not be divided. She died on the 29th of June 1933 at Waterloo, R.D., Dublin, aged 75. On her death, her probate recorded a will of peace sown million five hundred thousand. All of this money was donated to the various charities that she was associated with. She is commemorated in the city of Kilkenny's Lady Dysart Pedestrian Bridge, which was unveiled by Kilkenny City Borough Council in 2014. A biography on Lady Dysart titled The Countess of Dysart was published by Dun Immer Press 2021 by Gabrielle Murray. Gallery. Equals equals references equals equals.